Hello everybody, this is AAA Tech Solutions bringing you a super fast and super easy tutorial. Now if this how-to works for you, then please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Now, let's get into this tutorial. The question being asked is, how to enable virtualization, meaning VTX, in your BIOS in Windows 10? Well first, let's make sure that your virtualization is in fact disabled. To do this, you want to hold down the Windows key on your keyboard and press R. Now type in CMD and hit enter. Now that CMD is open, you want to type the following. Systeminfo.exe and hit enter. Now find Hyper-V requirements and to the right you'll find virtualization enabled in firmware. Over here, if it says no, then now we have confirmed that the virtualization in our device is in fact disabled and we can move on. So X out of CMD and navigate to the Windows Start menu. Once here, click on Settings. Once Settings has opened, find Update and Security all the way at the end and click on it. Now, once this tab opens, you want to find Recovery, which is right here. Once in Recovery, you want to find Advanced Startup. And under Advanced Startup, you'll find this button, Restart Now. And this is what you want to click. Click Restart Now. Now once you see this blue screen, you want to select the troubleshoot option. Now select advanced options. Now since the problem is in our firmware, we want to head on over to UEFI firmware settings. Hit enter. Now press restart. Now this setup menu has opened, we want to find bio setup, which for us is F10. <clears throat> now that you're in bio setup, go to system configuration. Find and highlight virtual virtualization technology and hit the enter key on your keyboard. Now press the down key so the enabled option is highlighted and hit the enter key. Now that virtualization technology is enabled, we see that there's another option menu at the bottom and one of the options is save and exit, which we want to choose. So for us, that's F10, which we press. Exit saving changes, yes. And now a computer should boot back up normally. Now that your system has finished booting back up and you're back on your desktop home screen, we can retrace our initial steps to make sure that we are successful in enabling our virtualization or VTX in BIOS. So same as before, you want to hold down the Windows key on your keyboard and press R, type in CMD, hit enter. Now you want to type systeminfo.exe and hit enter again. We find Hyper-V requirements towards the bottom here. To the right, we see virtualization enabled in firmware, and we see yes, meaning we were successful. Uh, thank you for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share, and turn on your notifications for updates on upcoming videos. This is AAA Tech Solutions. See you next time.